a key moment in any amphibious assault by Royal Marines. Getting ashore safely. The troops are practicing this at Barry Budden as they deploy with NATO and other allies as part of littoral response group North. Operating in the North Atlantic, Arctic and Baltic region and taking forward the Royal Navy's new way of working. These drills are going to be the bread and butter of what we end up doing every day, working in small teams and inserting via small craft quite often at the dead of night will be our, will be our bread and butter. Um, going forward, making sure the guys understand that uh, and that, that they can move forward and do that comfortably is going to be key to our success. HMS Albion is the beating heart of this deployment to the high north. She's leading a strike group testing the Royal Navy's transformation strategy as it develops its amphibious strike capability for the future. The new technology and tactics being used on this deployment have already been tested out in the Mediterranean last year. Now this is about integrating it into working with partners in a vital region for European security. The strike companies that are being delivered from the group are operating in a more agile, uh, more sophisticated manner. They're absorbing everything they can from the most modern uh, technological developments. And what we'll be looking to do here is integrate that with the ships. Um, so I'll we'll have remote pilot, pilot systems, we'll have a more agile uh, command and control uh, mechanism from the ship uh, to the Royal Marines deploying ashore. So it's about a blend of the equipment and uh, the technology that we have today and looking at how we can develop that into the future. For the Royal Marines especially, this is about looking to the future as they get used to operating in smaller, more specialised teams, the concept known as Future Commando Force, an overhaul of how they operate to meet emerging challenges. I guess one of the unique selling points that we bring is the fact that based off a ship like HMS Albion and with RFA Mounts Base supporting her, we're able to bring that effect from the maritime across a vast area. And so these small teams and their ability to punch in land, have effect and quickly recover raiding in essence, it, it will be raiding for the 21st century. A new way of working for the Royal Navy, but for some, everything about this is new territory with some in the ship's company experiencing the excitement of their first deployment. One of the good things about my role is that no day is, is the same, everything is completely different each day. Um, and going forward, looking forward to this uh, deployment, there's a lot of exciting things to, that are going to be happening. And it's, to be fair, it's pretty, it's pretty good being a part of it, to be fair, so it's nice. It feels good, really getting an understanding and, and uh, depth of really the operational side of the Royal Navy. Uh, really appreciate the uh, experience, especially as a reservist uh, coming on board uh, and really appreciating uh, Little Response Group North uh, and how, how things run. The changes to the Royal Navy have been described as the most significant transformation to the service since the Second World War. This deployment North not only aims to reassure allies and deter adversaries in the region, but gives the Navy the chance to put this new way of working into practice on a large scale over the next few weeks. David Civils McCann, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.